Petroleum Cabinet Secretary John Munyenso was supposed to appear before the Senate's Energy Committee, but cancelled so as to attend to crisis meeting. Following the exit of Kenya Pipeline Company boss Joe Sang, who opted not to renew his contract, which expires in April 2019, the Senate Committee has thereby summoned the CS Petroleum to appear tomorrow to explain the company's status in the face of allegations that over 11 million liters of petrol was lost through spillage and pilferage between March 2017 and May 2018 in nine separate incidences. At the extent of losses of product on lines in volumes and in cost estimated at about one Kenya shillings, one billion a year, is the spillage that you have been hearing. There was also the issue of the status and performance of the Mombasa uh, Nairobi pipeline, which was completed around, uh, I think, July. And uh, the, the status of payment that they have done so far on that side. And uh, the other things is we, we wished to dwell into was into the, the situation in the Kenya Pipeline Company. This committee stopped the payment to Zykem, and that is the reason why we are in this crisis at the moment. We, uh, because we would have lost a lot of money. In the other meetings that we've held, we have discussed about the variation of the contract, where the contract was being varied, uh, yet the, co uh, the consultant gave uh, an okay for the variation to be done. So we wanted to find out why is it that the consultant okayed for the variation, yet the consultant is supposed to be the one saving the public money. The senators have meanwhile called on investigating agencies EACC and Directorate of Criminal Investigations to investigate the company. We are here to see that the issues that are affecting the resources of this country, the issues affecting the organizations that are the public organizations in this country, are actually investigated in accordance with our mandate and brought to the open and brought to book and the appropriate action taken. Further, the senators want the energy ministry justify investments of over 5 billion shillings in the Tukana wind power, which has never delivered. Bungoma Senator Moses Wetangula now wants the energy committee to investigate the government's contracts with the Lake Tukana wind power company that is claiming over 9 billion shillings from the government. Kevin Washira, Channel News.